Hello, and welcome to the Morgan Library Learning Center. My name is Tanya Fawcett, and as the Director of the Library Services, I represent a team of Miriam, Carrie, Kala, Connie, and Jody. Our jobs are to support you academically. This video is, is to introduce you to the virtual Morgan Library Learning Center, which is accessible on the web at www.grace.edu slash library. Would you close your eyes for a moment? I'd like to ask you a few questions and think about what comes to mind when I say the word library. What's the first image, the first sound, the first smell you smell when you hear the word library? You may open your eyes and I'd like to introduce you to your Morgan Library, which is located on the Winona Lake campus, physically in the center of campus. And I like to think of it as the heart of campus. If you're ever on campus, please stop by for a visit. We'd love to meet you in person and, and to show you around. Here you'll find a couple of old resources as well as lots of new resources and technology, lots of conversations and classes and groups and even the smell of coffee. Many of our services are offered through the virtual library by way of our website. This is where you can locate a library resources, services, and people who offer those services from wherever you are located. And I'd like to think of them as the three S's, stuff, services, and staff. So let's start with the staff, stuff. Most of the information can be located through LandsRequest, including our book collection. 75% of our books are eBooks which means that most of our book collection is available for you. We also have streaming videos and electronic resources can be accessed through one of over a hundred databases. These databases can be accessed by title or by subject. We also have a few of our favorites over here on the favorite box underneath our chat box. Academic Search Complete is a great general database and it's a good place to start. I like to encourage students to use the advanced search uh, tab or button so that you can combine your concepts in your searching. So let's say we were doing something on maybe sleep privation and college or university students. And wow, the effect on the grades. You notice I did not put it in as a complete sentence and I put different concepts on different lines. Uh, when you're using the advanced search, it automatically chooses just peer reviewed resources, resources that have been reviewed by other scholars. So this is where you're going to find scholarly resources, not so much in the public or the uh, popular research or popular articles. So these are all scholarly resources. Here you can see um, things from the Preventive Medicine or the Journal of Indian Association. Uh, these are peer reviewed. If you're getting uh, too many, you can limit it by date and make it um, maybe in the last 10 or 12 years takes it down a little bit. You can also, if you're not getting enough, you can also say, you know what, I don't want peer reviewed. I want to take off the peer reviewed and get everything that might have been published in this area, uh, even from the popular journals. Some of the resources are not full text here, but you can click on the find it link and access it through this button that says request a copy and then we will order it and send it to you via email. A lot of them though are going to be full text right here and once you click on the full text button uh, the PDF will pop up in front of you. All you have to do is read it and see if it applies to your uh, your research, the things you want to write about and then use that for your papers. It's a big part of our research. Uh, that was a quick overview. For more information about how to use all of our databases, there are a number of tutorials available here on the tutorial tab. And there's for articles, ebooks, statistics, and uh, videos how to use those different databases. 
and they're just quick little videos, um, more professionally done, uh, to, to help you use those resources. Also under the Research tab is a Citation Help tab. Something else I like to point out to students because you're going to have to cite your resources. Uh, depending on the class, you may have to be using APA, MLA, or Turabian. And there are some colorful um, guides here for searching or for, for actually using a data, uh, that style for citing your resources. So here's a journal article in print. And here is a journal article without a DOI. So just give you uh, kind of a little cheat sheet on how to cite APA, MLA, and Turabian. So those are some of our resources, just a quick overview, but our services are find under this tab here for services as well as the Learning Center. On the uh, Learning Center we have a lot of tutor uh, tutors available through the Writing Lab and the Math Lab, uh, as well as content tutoring. And all of these resources are available uh, online, so you do not have to be in person. Uh, they are available at no charge. Uh, student Disability Services helps our students that have physical, learning, or emotional needs, and it helps them with providing the appropriate accommodations to help them be, uh, to help them have an education, uh, a grace education that provides them with an opportunity to be successful. Accommodations may include books in alternative formats, extended time on your test and quizzes, note takers, or um, other uh, class adaptations. Another resource we offer on campus is research assistance, and that could be uh, with a librarian or a research uh, consultant, which is one of our students. Uh, this can be take the form of a chat, so whenever we're on campus you can chat with us, or under email through the Ask a Librarian link. We also offer these research guides that are available on every Canvas page on the left side of the Canvas screen. Go ahead and click on the Research Resources link in Canvas and um, you will be taken to a page that is appropriate for the class. So here's one on Art Illustration. And this is, helps you with providing the information you may need to, to complete your assignments. All of these resources and services would not be available without the staff. And you'll find the staff under the About link over here and Staff. Right here in the middle is Kala. She provides academic support primarily through the writing, math, and content tutors. You can, again, schedule these content tutors privately, and then all of these resources available online as well. Connie is the contact person for disability support. Uh, and remember, disabilities can be manifested in a number of ways. These can be short-term issues like a broken arm or a concussion, or maybe it's a challenge you've been living with your entire life. The accommodations are not retroactive, so in order to get the accommodations you need for your class, you'll want to do that right away. Jody is our circulation manager, and when you call the library, she's probably the first person you will speak with. Miriam, Carrie, and I are librarians and assist faculty and students in locating the right resources and papers for projects. We also have a team of students reference assistants who provide help with research projects. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to working alongside you in the library uh, virtually as well as in person if you're ever on campus. If you have questions please feel free to reach out via our website, by phone, or by email. Thank you and have a great day.